Uh, I'm curious how well you are, how well you identify with your characters, with your heroines. <laughs> okay. I'm very character driven. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to, get, not just my heroes, but my heroes too. I try to get inside their mind and in the situation they're in, what would they do? So I may not necessarily agree with choices that they would make or anything else. It's not like choices that I would make. I'm actually very, very conservative. But I try to understand where they're coming from, and I think that dictates what they're going to do. Yeah. And I'm very plot driven, so she's character driven. I mean, she has to be in their heads and find out what makes them tick. And, and for me, I need to know what they're going to do next. I need to know where we're going and what's going to happen. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, but we don't really plot past the next chapter. So no, we don't, we don't know what's going to happen until we see the other person's hands. Oh, okay, maybe I have to know this direction from that. Yeah. Um, That's fun. Yeah. On that note, do you, uh, I guess, how dispassionate do you consider your writing process? So, you know, certain events that definitely evoke certain emotions from the readers. Do you feel that while you're writing as well, or is it pretty. Um, Jody cries. Jody cries when she writes. <laughs> <laughs> I we feel about her character too, and then I do cry. Yeah, she does. I'm attached to them. Because yeah. I feel like I'm living, living. Yes, yeah. that same thing. That you understand exactly how that character feels at that moment. So you try to hopefully. She cries at the appropriate sad points, and I get really excited when they fight. <laughs> so you said you try to get in the mind of the men as well. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do you consult men? Do you feel like you adequately? You know, can get into a man's mind. Um, you have to go to women readers. Right, mm -hmm. that's true. So, but also, I um, it was easier for me in the past. I was actually <laughs> my divorce. I was divorced this this last April. Um, but my husband, my ex husband, um, is also an artist. He's a composer. So he's very and what I always have those sorts of men in my house. So I was able to listen to how they talk to each other and how they respond. And I was a very good at asking questions. Why do you guys do that? I mean, I, I mean, if I had a friend talk to me that way, I would, they would not be my friend. I would be, he just yelled at all this other stuff. But he'd explain, at least from his point of view, his thought process. It was able, easier for me to get in. And now, um, we wrote this book while I was going through my divorce. So she actually shot him. <laughs> I had to make it healing sales. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>